Hey everyone, today we will solve one common UI task, creating a React component for users to input their phone number, which after formats the number as a type. Our goal is to format the input into this pattern. We'll add parentheses after the third digit and add dash after the sixth. Now let's dive in and start coding our main functionality. Don't worry about styling for now, we'll keep it minimal. Right now our component doesn't have any logic, so we can just type everything what we want. First up, we need our input to be a controlled component in React. This means the input's value is driven by our component state. To do it, we'll create a state for value and handle function for it. So let's import input value and set input value function from useState where the default value is just empty string. So let's add input variable to the input value property and the next step is to create handle function which will be added to the input. So let's add handle set input value function which receives one argument. It will be our event. So let's add event here and we need to add handle set input value to on change function of our input element. So let's do it. And as a result of it, we will receive event from our input in our handle set input value function. And the next step is to import value from our event target. So let's write here const value and event target. Because our input and receive strings and numbers, we need to format it and delete all symbols and leave numbers only. To do it, let's create new variable formatted input value, which will be a result of our new function, get formatted input value. This function receives a value of the input, deletes all extra symbols and transform it to the appropriate format. So let's add get here and it will be our function. Also let's pass our value. The next step is to save our formatted input value in our stage. So let's run set input value here. And now we are ready to implement our get formatted input value function. So our function receive value and let's create new variable digits. And this variable contains number only. To do it we'll use replace function with our regular expression where slash d matches any iterator that's not a digit and using slice we limit our input to 10 digits. The next step is let's create a variable for our result which will be empty string by default. The first if statement using a template literal focuses on the creation a string based on the first three digits of the user's input. So if digits length more than zero, we add to our result three first numbers using template literal. In the next if statement we will check if digits length is more or equal four. If it's equal, we add open parenthesis before the first number and closing parenthesis after the third number. To do it, let's add open and close parenthesis to our result and add three more numbers here using slice. So let's add here three comma six. And in the last if statement, we check if digits length is more than seven and if it's more than seven we add dash after the next three digits so we use previous result and just add a new one with a dash so let's refresh the page and check if it works and it doesn't we just need to add formatted input value to our set function and it still doesn't work as i see i think that i forgot to add return in our get formatted input value function. Now let's refresh one more time and now it works. But if we delete the middle number our input cursor will be moved to the end. Basically it's our follow-up question. So let's maybe add this new functionality. To do it we need to have direct access to our component. So I will use useRef for this case. Let's create input ref variable and add it to the component. 
So let's add here ref equal input ref. Now let's modify our handle function. We need to check first if we have input ref dot orange. So if we have access to the input, we do some magic. And magic we will done by using set selection range function. But first let's read a variable position. It will be position of the input array. I will use index of to find the right place for our cursor. Using selection start and selection end properties from our event target object. So let's import them. Selection end. And now let's proceed. Because index of will find only the first success result, we need to add some extra options here. Using selection start minus 1 we get the error in the unformatted input just before where the test cursor was. And end position will be selection end minus 1. Minus 1 to account for the error that was just typed or deleted. Then plus 1. Move the cursor position to the right by one space because index of gives the position before the error. Or selection end. Is by up that says if the error can be found, just put the test cursor back where it was before. Now let's set the cursor position to the new allotted position using set selection range function. Now let's check if it works. Let's refresh our page and end our phone number. Let's maybe now delete one number from the middle and it doesn't work. Everything what we need to do here is add set timeout with zero. So after state updates, we adjust the cursor position. But after state updates, it's very important here. So now let's refresh page one more time, add our phone number, and let's delete any number here. And as you can see, now it works. Even if we delete the first number or any other number. That's all for today's video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.